Hello again, YouTubers, Ultimate SpongeBob101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel for SpongeBob News. Today is July 22nd, 2022, and the 2022 San Diego Comic Con just had its SpongeBob panel. We have a whole lot of news to get to. Let's jump over to NickBreast.com. Nickelodeon unveils first ever SpongeBob Universe crossover event with the Tidal Zone Undersea Special. Now, you might have heard that name before um, or something close to that, like the Inner Tidal Zone or the Tidal Zone in the episodes, you know, the space place thingy. Uh, but I digress. So, here we see one hour crossover special featuring SpongeBob, Paramount Plus Original Series Cam Coral, and the Patrick Star Show slated to bow in November 2022 on Nickelodeon. So we already have the first look, clip, and art of this comedy satire revealed during a panel that brought together the SpongeBob Universe veteran voice talent and executive producers at Comic-Con International San Diego 2022. So let's take a look at this article. There's actually a lot of info right here, um, especially further down if you can already, you can actually look at the bottom paragraph, you know what I'm talking about. First, let's start off with the top here. So Nickelodeon will take viewers on a multi-dimensional adventure deep below the ocean surface throughout Bikini Bottom with the first ever crossover special, The Tidal Zone. It encompasses all three animated series and follows Grand Pat from Patrick Star's show as he makes his way through each dimension. This special is slated to premiere in November on Nickelodeon. This kind of suggests a whole different timeline now uh, when you think about Cam Coral in relation to the main series. Cam Coral was supposed to be SpongeBob being 10 years old, right? So naturally, SpongeBob SquarePants should follow from Cam Coral, but now it seems like Cam Coral exists in its own dimension as well. So I don't know why they are doing that, but Oh well. This crossover special was revealed today during an exclusive panel at the Comic Con where SpongeBob fans packed the room. Man, I wish I could be there for a look at these iconic shows. So anyways, the title zone is a journey into an R of television where two dimensions can become three and French divers can wear black ties. I mean, I'm not sure why that isn't possible already. Like you could if you wanted to. Observe a tale of both comedy and caution, of satire and stupidity. Minds may switch, bodies may shrink, and robots may rise in the Tidal Zone. This news comes on the heels of the recently announced pickup for a 14th season of SpongeBob SquarePants, which will continue to follow incurable Optimus SpongeBob, blah, 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 blah. The world will continue to expand with more new episodes of Camp Coral SpongeBob's Under Years coming to Paramount Plus on September 30th, finally. So it's been more than a year now since the last batch of episodes for Cam Coral came out. So it's about time. I was wondering why they took so long for this. And also the Patrick Star Show continuing to roll out on Nickelodeon along with three character driven movies launching exclusively on Paramount Plus. We talked about this in a, a previous SpongeBob News video as well as this fourth theatrical release, which we also referred to in a previous SpongeBob News video. So that's basically the article. So now I'm gonna bring you guys over to Twitter. We're gonna take a look at the Nickelodeon and the official SpongeBob Twitter because they did cover the panel in some capacity. So I do wanna check it out and show you guys if you guys missed it, all right? So SpongeBob, if you could ask the SpongeBob cast one question, what would it be? My question would be Finland. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that, <laughs> the least generic one. Uh, fun fact, Squiller rides a recumbent bicycle because his voice actor, Roger Bumpus, rides a recumbent bicycle. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sponge Boy at the time, remembering what it was like when Steve Hillenburg first worked with Tom, Bill, and Jill to recreate, or to create, excuse me, the voices for SpongeBob, Patrick, and Karen. I like how Bill always likes to wear these hats. <laughs> it looks very, uh, a little bit funny, I gotta say, but it's, it's good on him, okay? Uh, you can never be too big for the show. Chew the scenery as much as you want. I'm not sure what this really means. Tom Kenny explaining the process behind being a SpongeBob voice actor and what they tell guest actors. I mean, are they referring to like the scenery in the studio, the scenery in the show, you know, the position that the character is in? I don't know. Okay, the SpongeBob's writer's room is an awesome mix of veteran SpongeBob writers and new writers who grew up watching the show. Not surprising, I mean, this show has been going on for 23 years now. It's an amazing mix of old and new. Fun fact, uh, an early draft of the show had the show taking place inside a whale. 
So this is in relation, I believe, to this photo here. So the Patrick Star show, basically. I, I'm glad they didn't stick with that idea because it sounds really bad. Uh, we really wanted each of the spin-offs to feel different, and the Patrick Star show was one way we could have no constraints. I think they mentioned this in the press release before, but yeah, it's really nice to see this art. I'm gonna put it up here, uh, but really nice to see this. Okay, anyways, back here. Fun fact, a closet can be great for voice acting sessions, but it can also get really warm in there. Well, yeah, you don't say. <laughs> we wanted Camcorder to feel different enough from the original show. It was our first CG show, but once we were in that world, we knew it was a great opportunity to come up with new characters. We loved the world building of the SpongeBob universe. So, um, I'm a little bit lukewarm on this one because I get that it was a great opportunity to introduce new characters, but my personal view of the two new main characters in Camcoro, Narlene and Navi, is less than stellar. Let's just put it as that. Okay, check out this all-star panel of actors and producers from Spongebob OK and <laughs> yeah, Spongebob Universe, that's right. That was all for the Nickelodeon Twitter, and now let's take a look at the Spongebob Twitter. Let's just quickly scroll through. Again, we have pretty much the same thing. Who are these BFFs? Who are those BFFs? Right, SpongeBob and Patrick. Bill says, I love Patrick so much. I feel like he takes over when we do a voice recording session. I become Patrick. Well, that's uh, the words of a very experienced voice actor. The Patrick Star Show is like a zany cartoon variety show. Well, in my opinion, the Patrick Star Show is just there for random humor. I like it because it's random humor. Uh, but um, if you ask me whether I like it the most, um, probably Spongebob, Camcorder, then Patrick Star Show. Okay, Narlene, we'll skip this, but I'm just gonna put the art up here. And French narrator voice, let's explore Camp Coral and these outlandish creatures. Uh, yeah, pretty much that is it. Okay, so this video is not over because we've got the trailers to get to. So let's hop over to the first one right now. First of two clips features the segment from SpongeBob SquarePants, the main series. If you want to watch both of these, I have them on the channel linked in the description box below as well. So first up, we start off with Binary Bottom. You can see SpongeBob's new version of the pineapple where postmen are holographic and sent by drones. SpongeBob or SpongeBot wakes up as per normal and is put together literally by his robotic mirror. They, he gets ready for work and we also see Robo Gary. So yeah, it's time for work. Gary wants to tag along, but of course he's left behind like SpongeBob. So he actually decides to stow away. Even SpongeBob's hat is a robot. So that's pretty epic. We then go over to Squidward's house or Squidbot's home. Squidbot is basically putting together a replica of himself because that's the only person who he can get along with. This is immediately interrupted by SpongeBot and eventually the replica robot decides to self-destruct because he refuses to live beside SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, sad for Squidbot. Okay, and for the second clip here, we have Frenchie, the French narrator, using the coffee pot that becomes Patrick's home. We have special guests on the Patrick show, of which the names are relatively difficult to pronounce for him. But yeah, it's Captain Quasar and Patron. Yeah, so we see their rocket ship crash landing. There's a whole lot of chaos in this little clip here because Patrick offers to remove the loft script from Patron and he messes it up so much, eventually getting a shrink ray stuck to his head. Like, where did that even come from? He starts shrinking Squidina and the chase ensues. Bunny and Cecil randomly show up offering to order pizza and, you know, Patrick has to stop to make the order, right? But yeah, he eventually shrinks both of them as well as himself. So eventually Captain Quasar and Patron make a hasty retreat out of there. Yeah, those are the two clips. That's about it for the new announcements from the San Diego Comic Con. I just wanted to point out two more things that I didn't mention earlier in the video. The first of which is the nature of this special. It does only say that the title zone is an hour of television. It could be a TV special, a TV movie, excuse me, or a multi-episode special. So it could last between two to three 22 minute block episodes. Presumably, my guess is in the main SpongeBob series in season 13. It could be wrong. You know, they could just make this a totally standalone kind of thing like the theatrical SpongeBob movies. Who knows, right? And the second thing relates to this line here. So minds may switch, bodies may shrink, and robots may rise in the title zone. So as you've now seen from the two clips, bodies may shrink, clear 
clearly refers to the Patrick Star Show segment. Robots May Rise In, that refers to the Spongebob main series segment. And so the last segment has to be Cam Coral relating to Minds May Switch. So basically it tells us the central plot of the Cam Coral segment right there. Whose minds are switching with whose? There are so many permutations, it's endless basically. But we'll see when more information about this special is released. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. Keep it right here on Automate Spongebob 101. I'll see you guys in the next Spongebob video. Bye!